Hi, and welcome to Getting Started in VoiceOver, our nine plus tips to building a full-time voiceover career. I'm Mike. And I'm Heidi. We're both veteran voice talent, on-camera actors, and owners of ProVoiceOverTraining.com and the Atlanta VoiceOver Studio. This was a webinar, but we adapted it for you here because we feel it needed to be shared. We didn't want you to have to play the game of signing up for a webinar and then having to wait for it to start and all that stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> thanks for watching. We're excited to have you, and we have a ton of information to share with you. Okay, a quick overview of this video webinar, presentation, thingy, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> First, we'll be answering the questions that we get asked the most, which is, how did we get started? How did we get to where we are today? And how do you get started in voiceover, along with the nine tips to building that full-time career? Now, you may want to take notes. We'll then talk a little bit about what ProVoiceOverTraining.com is and what it can do for you. As well as the Intro to VoiceOver workshop, of which we'll play you a little snippet from the workshop and why we created it. And we have some bonuses for you as well. Before we did the whole stay to the end thing for codes and bonuses, but we don't want to play that game. We'll give you those in a second because you may already know that you're interested in voiceover and you really want to just go ahead and get started with the Intro to VoiceOver workshop. Plus, we'll also give you some options of how to learn more about the industry beyond just this video. And to close, we'll answer a few of the most frequently asked questions that we've gotten over the years. And we'll also give you some next steps so that you can get your voiceover career started. And these are what we tell students who come through our Atlanta Voice voiceover studio. Now, before we get started, you may be asking, who is this video for? Beginners. Those who have listened to the radio or TV and heard commercials and thought, I can do that, but how do I get started? Where do I go to train? What do I need to do? Yeah. You know. Or if you've watched cartoons and thought, hey, I'm good at voices. How do I get into animation? Intermediate and veteran talent might learn a few things here that could really help their career as well. But it's basically for anyone looking to get into voiceover and get a better understanding of all the components of what it takes to do it full time. We'll be sharing a lot of content that we've learned from being in this industry for almost a couple decades, including stuff we wish we'd have known when we first started out. So make sure you're ready to take notes because we won't go slow. And we'll pack this full of valuable information that helped us. If you already know you want to get your voiceover career started and build that good foundation, then you can sign up for the Intro to VO workshop now by going to the description box and clicking on the link. So what are you going to get with it? You're going to get the 30,000 mm -hmm. foot view of the industry and learn a ton more. Everything from agents to demos and the business side. It was created for the beginner in mind so that by the end, you know exactly what you're getting into. And so you don't have to wait for the bonuses. Here's the loadout. Click the link to sign up for the Intro to VoiceOver Workshop. And when you check it out, add the Twisted Way video and 10 Tips video to your cart, and you'll get those two for free. Yep, the Twisted Way video and the 10 Tips, everything we'll be going over in this webinar and more for free by using the promo code PVTWeb. You might have to do it separately, or you could do it at the same time. Just remember to use the promo code PVTWeb, and then you'll pay for the Intro to VoiceOver workshop, but you'll get the Twisted Wave and the 10 Tips tutorials for free. And you'll always have them all in your account. Remember the code PVTWeb. It's a small thank you for trusting us with a little bit of your time. So if you're ready, here we go. Now, you may be wondering, hey, who are these people are anyways? These people? Why should I trust them and listen to them? Because we're so cute. And you should be asking those questions, by the way. Yes. My name is Mike Stout, and after growing up in Pennsylvania, Florida, I landed in Atlanta, Georgia. I spent most of my adult life as a DJ on the radio with a top-rated evening show, I might add. And as of the 21st year, they didn't like that I was doing so well, and they let me go. Now, the good news is that I had been training and working on the side in VO and as an actor for about eight of those years. So when I was let go, I simply pulled a Ross from friends and pivoted and became what I wanted, a full-time VO talent and actor, and I've never looked back. Now, you may have heard me on a few things over the years like Sour Patch Kids, Budweiser, Discovery Reserve, Nike, and hundreds more. But I'm currently the promo voice for The Talking Dead, as well as Warby Parker, my favorite glasses company. Now to my better half. Hi, I'm Heidi Rue. I'm a Georgia peach, was born and raised, and I spent 10 years in radio, which is actually how we met. I was on air as a DJ, but I had a little stint in the traffic department telling people how hard or easy their drive to and from work was going to be pretty hard because it was Atlanta. Give them a little sample. Oh, okay. Um, so right now on the Downtown Connector, we have a little bit of a backup because of a situation involving a zebra on the interstate. And yeah, that actually happened. Those yeah. were the days. But we digress. 
us. Like Mike, while I was in radio, I was training in voiceover and acting on the side. And then when I chose to leave radio in 2013, I went full time. Now, of course, it wasn't always easy. The road was a little rough and there were some hard times as I tried to get my VO career off the ground. I had some work coming in from clients that I made through radio and stuff, but even before I left radio, it actually took me four years to start booking through my agent. And then of course, when I started booking, that's when I left the radio station. But there are some ups and downs, of course. Mental resiliency is a huge part of this, but we'll get to that. Since then, she's done fine. And you can hear her on campaigns for Hint Water, Edible Arrangements, Auto Nation, Jiffy Lube, and a whole lot more. And so you know that we're just not claiming this, you can always go to the site iSpot.tv. Type in either of our names in the search bar and it'll pull up some of the commercials that we've done in our career. Now, the site doesn't have everything we've done, but only showcases the spots that are housed on that platform. And as you begin this journey, you must think of your voiceover career as your business. But when it comes to building a business, it's a lot of work. We're not going to sugarcoat mm -hmm. it. We've invested a lot of long hours training, auditioning, recording, and working. But it's also allowed us a lifestyle of freedom to some degree. And we want to pass along some of what we've learned. So if you take nothing from this training, at least take away the confidence of knowing that the things we're teaching today will give you tools in your tool belt for building a full-time voiceover career. We've already been doing this by helping people in Atlanta with our Atlanta voiceover studio, where people can come in person to train and learn what it takes to build their voiceover career. In a nutshell, we've learned what it takes to create a full-time voiceover career, and we're so excited to share our insights with you right now. So? Let's dive in. How did we get started? We already looked at our journey into the world of voiceover, but the how portion is always what people want to know. And that's because people don't know where to begin. All they know is that they want to be able to voice commercials or cartoons and make money doing it, but they don't know how to break into the industry. As we tell people in our classes, everyone's journey is different, but there are steps that you can take. If we rewind back to the early 90s when I first got into radio in college, I had access to recording software and learned a ton with how to record and edit. Had I known there was an industry known as voiceover, I'd have been all over it. Unfortunately, I was clueless, and I'd always wanted to be an actor and even do voices. Fast forward to our latter days in radio, which wasn't fulfilling. You may be in a job just like that, in a job that you want out of. And listen, we get it. Yeah. We wanted the freedom and flexibility of working a freelance lifestyle. Now, not everyone is cut out for that. Yeah, sometimes you and we never know when our next paycheck and where it's going to come from. But utilizing the tips we share can help you as you work on your career in voiceover. And a side note, always put away some cash for a rainy day. And we'll say it right here now, voiceover is a craft to learn. Voiceover is a craft to learn. We're going to hammer that in too. Yeah, and since it is a craft, just like acting, you can't just take one class and expect to have a full-time career. We still train and we're decades in, but the good thing is that you can always book even as you train. It's not always easy, but it is rewarding. There's a great quote by Steve Jobs that may hit you right where you are right now. He said, your work is gonna fill a large part of your life and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work and the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking, don't settle. Radio at the time, and for many reasons, wasn't fulfilling us. We were both settling for jobs that we had fallen out of love with. So when those doors closed, we decided to go full time into an industry that we felt at home. Yeah, it hasn't been easy and we've worked harder than we ever have to sustain ourselves, focusing on what we'll share too. We wouldn't want to go back, right? Nope. We talk about this all the time. We're so thankful for where we are in our careers. We're at the top of our industry. We work with some amazing agents and clients and we're doing the work that we love and enjoy. To be ready though, over the years, we've spent a lot of money making sure we were investing in the right training, equipment, website, all that stuff. The good part is that it was all done and we had everything when we needed it. This is a principle that we live by that's been a huge part of our success and that is being willing to take risks and invest in yourself. You need to be willing to invest in your training, your demo, professional home studio equipment, and the business side if you want to be treated as a professional. But not all at once or right away. Our advice is invest in yourself to get training, then seek guidance on the other stuff. It's okay to learn incrementally. Yeah, there are mentors out there like us who are willing to help guide you. For now, 
you've taken the first step to learn. Now, when people first start out in voiceover, they take a class, they go online to some site and try to buy new gear, hoping what they get is good and just going off ratings to put their setup together. They think they know what they're doing, but it's kind of like throwing spaghetti against a wall and hoping it sticks. Turns out to be a surefire way to waste time. Yeah, we know because we've tried it, only to have to have gone back and redo everything. And I was in radio. I was supposed to have known some of this stuff. We know how it is to try to piece learning things from online or just taking a class here and there. It can get pricey really quick. And with that comes frustration and possibly giving up your dreams of leaving your regular passionless filled job for the one you might actually love. When we started our voiceover studio in Atlanta, it was a 10 by 10 room that had a whisper room. And really we planned on using it ourselves to have as an outside studio aside from our home studio. But we thought, well, why not offer it as a place for people to record their own auditions if they didn't have a good space to do it at their home? And that soon turned into actors and beginning voiceover talent asking us if we had workshops or classes that taught how to do voiceover. Well, fast forward a year and we had both workshops, classes, demo production, and a lot more. And the next goal was to try and help more people in any part of the country who wanted to learn voiceover be able to do so, only online. And that's why we created ProVoiceOverTraining.com, because we wanted to give you, who are interested in voiceover, an easier roadmap to getting into the business with resources that can help guide you along the way. We want to be your guides. Yeah. We want to be your voiceover Yodas. Oh boy. One of the hallmarks of our successful careers is taking a leap when it feels right. No, might not be easy, but if you have that feeling deep down that just gets you excited, even though you might be nervous, that's a good sign that you might be on the right path for you. Another huge principle to our success, confidence. Be confident in yourself and take opportunities when they present themselves because that's the only way to grow and get better. Yeah, if it were easy, everyone would do it. You heard that quote, right? Well, it's true. Following your own path may not be easy, but the natural high in confidence you get from it will help you follow through. Though I'd been training for years, when the radio station let me go, I had auditioned that very week for a voiceover campaign for a college. I booked it a few days later. In one year, I made 20 grand from that college alone. Tens of thousands of dollars, and eight years later, that relationship ended. But I met and worked with some wonderful human beings. Everyone's path is different, mm -hmm. and you never know what will open up. That's part of what we love about this yeah. industry. Because of the work we put in training ourselves, we now have agents who send us auditions, and we have plenty of opportunities to book. But VO isn't just about agents. A big part of having a career in voiceover is getting your own clients and work and there's always plenty to learn. You will have to be your own business and boss, but the main skeletal structure to your business will be training. The key to success is investing in yourself to continue learning and growing. You'll be your own business and boss, but the main skeletal structure to your business will be training. Learn as much as you can from a studio, class, or a coach. Then once you've learned everything that they have to share, move on. Because of our Atlanta voiceover studio, we've had hundreds of students come through and we've received just as many, if not more, questions about VO that we hope to answer for you. And what we don't, the Intro to VO workshop probably will. And that's just a quick look at how ProVoiceOverTraining.com came about. We'll talk more about it and the Intro to VoiceOver workshop, which is where you'll want to start if you realize that this is something that you want to do. And we're always adding more to ProVoiceOverTraining.com to keep the learning relevant and up to date. Now let's dive into some of the content inside the program and give you as much free training as we can in our time remaining. You'll be able to utilize this info in your voiceover career. Now we can't cover all these tips in depth in this webinar, but we can give you some good coverage of the steps to help you so you know it for later. Here are the top nine tips to help you have a full-time career in voiceover. Number one is understanding VO is a craft. You know, we mentioned this already, but it's one of the main things that you'll have to continue to remember. Like acting, voiceover is a craft that takes time to develop. Yeah, if athletes at the top of their game still get coached, then how much more do we? No matter what field you go into, there's an automatic understanding that training is involved. But the biggest misconception about voiceover is that if you have a voice and you can read, you can have a voiceover career. <clears throat> training is not only a big part of preparing you for a career in VO, like any other field, but continuing education is a big part of creating a full-time career. And this is why it's necessary as a beginner to take the intro to voiceover workshop. There are many out there that will just give you a few of the basics. So wherever you go, make sure you're getting as much 
information as possible. And if you'd like to do that with us, we've created one of the most comprehensive and information-packed Intro to VO workshops around. We not only give you the 30,000-foot view of the industry, but share info about the business side, demos, agents, performance technique, and way more. That's the start. And we'll talk about that at the end. After the intro workshop, you'll want to get into other small group classes or private coaching, whatever works with your schedule. You can also learn more by doing free stuff. Watch videos, listen to podcasts specializing in voiceover and acting. We've got one. Yeah, we do. We've produced <laughs> a lot of free podcasts and videos that are available by subscribing on our iTunes or heading over to uh, our sister studio's YouTube channel, Atlanta VoiceOver Studio. Lots of free tips there. And because voiceover is like acting, a craft to learn, any type of acting classes will help you. But if you don't want to do acting classes, something that will help you immediately, especially with imagining putting yourself in a scene, are improv classes. Yes, yeah. improv is wonderful at getting you out of the mundane routine of a day and get you thinking creatively really quickly. Now, advanced, train some more. Yeah, I know. Continue to train with coaches all over. Remember, voiceover is a journey. And you don't have to train every day and week and month unless you really want to and have the means. But take a workshop or class and then take some time to digest it. And then when you feel like you've practiced and you've learned what that class stressed, look for another. Strive to find what you uniquely bring to the table. That's what we focus on in our beginner and voiceover intensive. Side note, this is a class you take after our intro to VO workshop. Yeah, and we're not just talking about the kind of voice you have or your sweet spot. But look at your past experience, your specific skills, and who you are. Combine all that and figure out what allows you to shine. You may need some outside help for this, but we do have private coaches who can help unlock that. When you discover this, it'll be a game changer. And it doesn't happen overnight, though. But this brings us to tip number two. Figure out what you offer. What makes you and your voice unique? Now, you won't be able to do this after simply taking an intro to VO workshop. While the workshop will give you a good basic knowledge, give direction, and wet your voiceover whistle, you won't have too much practical application under your belt. And this is why our beginner voiceover intensive is a great foundational course after the intro to VO workshop. So you learn what it is that you have to offer. Knowing what you offer matters because in any business, you have to know what sets you apart. This is how you know. There are three ways you can discover how your voice is unique. One, spec sweet spot. Friendly conversational, authoritative, right, right. Two, role or stereotype, soccer mom, guy next door. Three, vocal message. What does your voice communicate? For Heidi, she ended up figuring out that she communicated with heart. And she got there after listening to her voice and collaborating with one of our mentors. Everyone can benefit from a guide, no matter where you are in your career. You can figure specs out by, after taking the right training, asking your private coach or class instructor. Yeah, we do something in our beginner voiceover intensive class where we have classmates all write down what they think the other student's sweet spot is. But private coaches can be key to helping you figure this out. For the role or stereotype, send an email to friends and family or post on social a clip of you doing a couple scripts, then ask them to share the role or stereotype that comes to their mind when they hear it. Yeah, and for the vocal message, ask the same group of people what your voice makes them feel. This may seem a little advanced, but you'll understand more after you get some initial training. Doing this type of work helps you to understand yourself, gives you a vocabulary to share with others, and ultimately, it'll help you be better able to market yourself. Again, we're sharing our top nine tips that we use to build a full-time career in VO. Number three, make sure the kitchen is stocked. I know, what? Meaning, make sure you have the equipment you need in a home studio to be competitive. It used to be that 60% of voiceovers were done in home studios. Studios. Now, that percentage is close to 98, maybe even 99. Now, that doesn't mean we recommend beginners start dropping hundreds or thousands of dollars on equipment. But it does mean that should be included in your investment plan as your career progresses. Set aside a percentage of what you make to improve on your equipment when you can. To begin, you just need to make sure that you can record an audition at home. What does this require? Well, nowadays, not much. A really quiet space, like a closet where you're surrounded by clothing, and a phone or maybe a USB mic. Some editing software, 
That's it. Eventually, though, you'll need to upgrade and get good equipment and dedicate an area for recording. But when you're ready, while you're learning and training your phone or USB mic, that'll be fine. All that can get really convoluted if this is new to you. So that's why we have plenty of resources at ProVoiceOverTraining.com. For now, simply know you'll need a good home studio eventually. Another key to building a full-time career in voiceover is having a clear website. Your website should be simple and clear about what you have to offer. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a site. The concept, remember us talking about figuring out what you have to offer? All the pros, including us, recommend having a website for SEO purposes and to show that you are a serious VO talent. Your website should communicate what you do, how it can make someone's life better or simpler, because remember, you want to solve a client's problem and how to get it. So make sure the home page is simple, clean, clear, and answers these three questions for the visitor. Implementation. Lots of inexpensive website options are out there. Squarespace, Wix, GoDaddy, WordPress themes, and voiceover actor websites. We also have an awesome couple we recommend, and you can find that at ProVoiceOverTraining.com when the time comes. Tip number five build a network. Attend voiceover workshops, classes, and conferences to connect with other professionals like yourself. Concept. Voiceover can be a very isolating industry, and it's up to you to create your community. Why does this help? One, support. Knowing others who experience the same thing. You can easily become an island and become jaded quickly if you think your situation is unique. Having a community encouraging each other can mean the difference between you giving up or growing. Two, relationship foundation. Less than 5% of my jobs have come from other VO talent, but knowing other talent has led me to great coaching, degrees of separation, referrals, and a lot of other things. With relationships, always seek to give rather than receive. You'll get a great reputation and a ton can happen to your career because of that. Implementation. Search for voiceover Facebook groups, attend conferences like VO Atlanta, and others you can seek out. At any event, remember to focus on creating relationships. Of course, you'll want to talk about VO, and someone else will too, but first get to know that person. Yeah, because we've all had that experience, you know, where you can tell that someone's really talking to you because they need something. From our experience, if you focus on being genuine and present, then you could enjoy a friendship that lasts for years. Connecting with someone should never be forced. It's organic. And once you begin looking at it from that perspective, your network will have grown and you'll want to help each other. Tip number six is to build a client base through online submissions, book jobs, friends, new business contacts. Concept, there are several ways to create a client base. One, through people you know. We always say start with us. Yeah, totally. And number two, through online casting sites via booked jobs. Three, through agents via booked jobs. Four, cold calling or emailing and reaching out. The implementation part of this, Building a client base is like planting a garden. You plant the seeds through agent auditions, online casting sites, cold calling or self-marketing. Then you see what sprouts, book jobs, interest from cold calling. And once it sprouts, you shouldn't just walk away. Just like a garden, you should feed it and water it. How? By following up and cultivating those relationships. Remember, it goes back to relationships. By doing this, you create an environment for return clients. This has worked for us really well over the years. Now, we can't cover all these tips in depth in this webinar, but we can give you some good coverage of the steps to give you a good idea. Tip number seven, create a tracking system. Analyze auditions and bookings that you have to identify progress and trends. Now we realize this is a little more advanced for where you may be right now as you just get started. These are all pieces that we have included in a product on ProVoiceOverTraining.com that we sell and you're getting it for free. So take notes so that you have them as your career advances. The concept, why create a tracking system? Because it one, helps you to identify income fluctuations. You'll begin to see which months are more profitable and which are slower, and you won't go crazy wondering why each month isn't the same. And number two, it allows you to see if a certain training or process books you more. Three, it allows you to see where you're getting the majority of your bookings from. If you're not booking enough from your online casting site to cover your yearly fee, well, then it might be time you discontinue using the site. The juice just isn't worth a squeeze. Four, it helps you see your booking rate with agents. Mm -hmm. Maybe previously, you would receive three auditions a week from one agent, but it falls to one a month. Knowing this information helps you to create a business plan of data. How do you implement this? 
Create a simple table that lists auditions, bookings, and contact information. Use this to jot down notes, keep up with client contacts, and know when to follow up. And you can also subscribe to a system that helps you keep track, but to save money or time learning a system, creating your own Excel or number sheet or using Google Drive will suffice. But overall, don't overthink it. Get ideas from professionals and friends and find out what works for you. Tip number eight, think of yourself as a storefront. What people see and hear during a session is your storefront. The concept, what's the purpose of a storefront? It's to be an example of what you'll get and when you walk in the door. This is your brand. And the implementation is, in this case, you want to present yourself as professionally as possible while still being friendly and personable yourself. Be yourself. <laughs> Remember to conduct yourself as a professional in emails and sessions on social media and once the mic is off and you're chatting with the client. If you find that you like to push hot buttons on social media, then you might want to create a side professional page to keep work separate. Many a talent have lost jobs because they ranted on social media for one reason or another and the client caught wind of it. And side note, if you've been told that you're not very personable, it would be worth the investment in taking a course or class that addresses this and teaches you how. It'll only help you in the long run. Tip number nine is to keep your tools sharpened. Make sure your demo is up to date. Be aware of the trends and continue training. The concept, uh, what are voiceover tools? Training, demos, websites, social media, organization tools, and marketing strategies. Implementation. Do a monthly checkup on your website. Have your social media pages up to date with contact info. Make sure your agent has your current demo. Check with your agent to see if you've booked anything off your demo. And if you haven't asked them in a while, see if you need to switch up the spots or update your demo to book more. Freshen up your demo about every two years or so, sooner if you're younger and your voice has changed, of yeah. course. Yeah. <laughs> Watch or listen to commercials on iSpot.tv, YouTube, TV, and listen to the radio, listening for any trends that you may notice. An example would be, has anything changed with car ads nationally or regionally, tech spots, retail stores, etc. Follow Ad Week and stay on top of the trends for the different VO genres. I'm going to do another bonus. Okay. How about that? Yeah, go for it. Okie dokie. <laughs> well, here's a bonus tip number 10. Number 10. Focus on one thing. There are a ton of VO genres. Make sure you have at least one that is your focus. Yeah, there are so many wonderful genres within voiceover. We try to explore and train in one new genre each year or so. But focus on training in one genre at a time. And that's so your brain won't be confused when learning the techniques of a specific genre, especially when you're just starting out. Mm -hmm. And then once you feel like you've got a good grasp, try another genre. Say you've done commercials for a while. Try out animation and stretch yourself, or promos, or narration, or audiobooks. Yeah, focusing <laughs> on one genre at a time will benefit you in the long run. And as we've said before, VO is a craft, every single genre. Mm -hmm. So once you train, Train some more. And remember, the cool thing about this industry is that once you start training, you can always book. You will have a network of people that no one else knows. So let friends, family, acquaintances know that you're studying the craft. We've heard plenty of stories from students who, once they put that information out on social media or LinkedIn, people just reached out to them to do projects, IVR or local commercials. And that's one of the wonderful things that we love about voiceover. Mm -hmm. You just never know what opportunities you'll have. And you can take control of your career. Yeah, it all comes down to investing in yourself through training. You have to be willing to spend money if you want to make money. Be willing to take risks. Instead of college, taking this, you'll be paying for a different type of education. And that's way cheaper. <laughs> be willing to invest in your future. Okay, one more bonus one more tip. Bonus. One more. Look for work within your sphere of influence and add value first. Okay, so it's kind of this principle that I've heard called free to be. With people that you know and as you train, say for maybe just three months, be willing to work for free before you charge a fee. If you go into a company and you say, look, I want to record your phone message system for you for free, odds are they're going to say yes. Yeah, you're gaining valuable on-the-job experience. And if you can get that recording, you can eventually utilize it as part of a demo. Oh, and if you follow up with a contact person at that company with a thank you, when that company decides to advertise on radio or TV, who do you think they might call to help them? Ghostbusters? No. No. Oh. Sorry. Only that time, you're going to get paid. 
Remember, it's all about the relationship. Often people will say, oh, you should never work for free because then they'll just expect you to work for free forever. We're not saying to work for free forever or anything, but just a short period of time when you're beginning. It could be good business and you are building a voiceover business. So you can give a sample of what you do. Business skills can be learned. If you learn how to communicate and negotiate to correctly set prices for your work without undervaluing your services or overvaluing them and losing the job, well, then you'll be able to make a good living. Think outside the box. So there you have our nine tips to building a full-time career, plus a couple bonus tips. And we really just scratched the surface, but we only have a limited time here with you. Yeah, as we've worked in voiceover, these tips have been priceless in helping us build our VO careers. And while we can't guarantee you work, what we can do is give you the tools and resources to help set you up for success, something we never had. Everyone's voiceover journey is different, mm -hmm. like we've said before. But like we said in the beginning, this is the framework that you can use to build your VO career around. This is your business, and you have to put in the work to make it work, but it can be done. And you can get started in your voiceover journey with the Intro to VoiceOver workshop at ProVoiceOverTraining.com. If this has got you so pumped up about learning the craft of voiceover, which I'm sure it has, the perfect place to begin is our Intro to VO workshop with another veteran VO talent, Brian Bremer. Sign up now if you're ready. But now we want to break down what the workshop includes for you and play you a snippet. This training is geared to give you a broad view of the VO industry, but with many specifics. Brian will take you through the business of voiceover, the basics of voice performance and technique, demos, why and when you need them, where the work is, vocal exercises, marking your script, what it takes to be a successful VO talent, and more. But wait, there's more. Here's a quick snippet to give you a sample. I want to talk for very briefly about demos. What is a demo? This is an, an important part of our business as well. In the voiceover world, unlike the film and TV world, we don't have to have headshots. You know, uh, film actors have headshots and they have resumes, so people look at them and say, oh, we'll bring him in, because he's, you know, he looks like what we're looking for. We don't have to have headshots. I love that about this. I never have to have my picture taken again if I don't want, because it's all about how I sound and what I do with my voice. And I'm years old, but a lot of the jobs that I get are for, you know, 25 to 35 year olds, because that's my vocal age. Um, now, as I've gotten older, I'm able to use more of the range of my voice so I, I can diversify and, and, and do more, but I still get a lot of that. So it has nothing to do with this, right? But we do have to have a demo. What is a demo? In the package that, that you downloaded with this video, you will hear my commercial demo. Uh, a demo is a representation of your work, just like an actor's headshot and a resume is a representation of their work. It is you doing different clips of different commercials. Eventually it will be spots that you've actually done or characters that you've done in animation. And a client hears that, usually in an MP3 form, okay? And they know, okay, if I hire Brian, this is kind of what I get. It's a sample of what you do. That's just a sample of this power-packed workshop. You'll receive a PDF that you can download and print with resources and information, as well as places to take notes. But after the Intro to VO workshop, in the VO Roadmap, you'll see our next steps. We've tried to create workshops and classes that we wish that we would have had when we were first starting out. Yeah, step by step. It's all in one place, so you don't have to try and search the internet and piece voiceover information together. We want to help save you time and money as you start your VO journey. We even have links to our kit.co slash pro voiceover training page that shows equipment and our recommendations with breakdowns to help you sort out what you need. We thought you might want to hear some testimonials from people who've actually taken the Intro to VO workshop. And side note, you can check out our ratings by Googling our sister studio, Atlanta VoiceOver Studio. This is the exact same workshop that you can get on provoiceovertraining.com. Well, we've never been called fuzzy before, mm -hmm. but we'll take it. Mind. And Linda mentioned doing this in Atlanta. So if you're local to the ATL, then you could take classes in person. But we do offer online classes as well, in addition to what we offer on demand at ProVoiceOverTraining.com.
And there are dozens of other great reviews on Google giving similar responses to our workshops and classes at the Atlanta VoiceOver Studio. Everything that we're making on demand now at ProVoiceOverTraining.com. And that's it. If you're interested, sign up for the Intro to VoiceOver Workshop to start your career. It's just over 90 minutes, and it's broken up into bite-sized chunks with the most information you'll find about VoiceOver in any one place. To enroll in the workshop and get your free bonuses of the Twisted Wave tutorial and the 10 tips that goes into way more detail of what we've covered here, go to ProVoiceOverTraining.com now. Click on Start here in the menu, and it'll take you to the Intro to VO Workshop. Click on the Enroll button and you'll be good to go. After that, go back to ProVoiceOverTraining.com and scroll down to the Twisted Wave and 10 Tips and add them to your cart. Enter the code PVTWeb at checkout and you'll get those for free. The cool thing is, is that once you register, you'll have all of these on demand whenever you want. When you log into your Intro to VoiceOver Workshop, you'll have some bonus PDFs to download specific to the workshop. But also the VO Roadmap PDF to help guide you in this amazing journey. Just follow the videos in order and you'll be off and running. You can even download the Teachable app and take it with you on your smartphone. Within the course in the notes section, you'll see the link to a private Facebook group. This is a cool little community of us, our instructors, and others who have taken our classes either live in Atlanta via Zoom or on demand at ProVoiceOverTraining.com. So as you go through the workshops or classes, if you ever have any questions, we or the other instructors are always going to be there to help. If there was just a portion of you that felt like, hey, I think I can do this. Try it out. I told Heidi that had I known voiceover was available, I'd have never gone the route that I did through college. I'd have learned all I could specializing in voiceover. Yeah, me too. But nothing like this was available. So it's all up to you. This could be the first step toward a dream. We're here to be your guides and we'll help as much as possible. And you can always keep checking our Atlanta voiceover studio slash pro voiceover training dot com YouTube page for free videos to help. One of the most oft asked questions we receive is, is how do I get started in voiceover? And really, that's why we created the Atlanta VoiceOver Studio and ProVoiceOverTraining.com with this intro to voiceover workshop that answers pretty much all your questions in one place. Kind of like a skeleton to a body. While this presentation was giving you the tips to a full-time career, the next step is learning the craft so you can build the body of your career. We've also set up private coaches with links within the video segments that you can schedule time with when you get past the intro to voiceover workshop. But you don't need them yet. Just save your money until you're ready. Utilize them if you take the beginner voiceover intensive on-demand class, which is the next step after the Intro to VO on-demand workshop. Yeah, you don't need to spend money on a private coach unless and until you're ready to work on what you've learned in other workshops or classes. But when it's time for a private coach, you can actually book time with them via Zoom or on the phone, which is how a lot of coaching is done anyways, even for us. Yeah, but for now, the Intro to VoiceOver workshop is how you get started. If you find out that you're interested in more, the next step would be the beginner VO intensive on demand course, and it's all in the VO roadmap that you'll receive with the Intro to VO workshop. With that class, we'll encourage you to set up times with a private coach each week after you go through each lesson. You have to remember this is like a college, except instead of spending money on like prerequisites kind of stuff, basket, yeah. <laughs> you're spending your hard earned dollars on actual classes. Classes that will actually teach you the techniques and craft of voiceover, with private coaches helping to make sure that you're learning correctly. Our goal is to give you the resources resources to help you create the voiceover career that you want. If we had this when we first began and all in one place, we'd have saved thousands of dollars. And in addition to this intro workshop being your first training, you're also learning a little about how to build your voiceover business. So give yourself time and make a plan. That free VO roadmap we give you is definitely going to help. We'll be updating ProVoiceOverTraining.com regularly to help give you the tools and resources to have a successful VO career. Another question that comes up is, why would I buy this course if I could just watch free YouTube tutorials? Yeah. And I mean, you you're, could. You're welcome right? to. Right? <laughs> yeah. But the challenge is trying to track down full-time VO talent and learn from them, especially if it's not in a teaching or instructional format. You're then forced to piecemeal things together, mm -hmm. and you'll be left with gaping holes in your supposed training as you try to find good tutorials. And that's the key word, good. Yeah, I mean, sure, you can do that. But the bigger problem that you face is that you don't have a practical way of learning the material and practicing. You can see what we've done because you can look us up on iSpot.tv and see just some of the portion of the body of our work. Plus, you'll end up spending like hours just going through videos, picking up things here and there, and it can be kind of confusing and overwhelming. Yeah, you won't learn the foundation that you need. Having an outlined course where you know what you'll be learning by the end, you can keep track of what you do and go back to review 
review if you need to will help you retain the information better. Yeah, not having that format causes you to lose interest quickly because you won't have any direction. It's happened to me many many times. This is a craft and we've condensed years of our training and learning into chronological courses that you can watch and absorb in your time. Then schedule time with a private coach when you're ready to put what you've learned to the test. Working with a private coach and applying what you learn will really help you understand it even more until the point where it just kind of becomes second nature, you know? Yeah, you'll feel great knowing you're getting your voiceover career off the ground and you can start letting people know that this is what you're working toward. One of the really cool things about voiceover is that you don't have to know every Everything to begin making money. Yeah, once you learn some techniques, you can let others within your sphere of influence know what you're doing. They might ask you to do some voiceover work, or one thing we like to suggest that not a lot of people know is... Yeah, and another bonus tip, contact your local radio stations. Talk to the production director who creates their commercials. Let them know you're available if they need a voice. Radio stations may not pay, but you can always ask for a copy of that commercial in MP3 form and keep that to have to showcase your voice until you're ready to get a demo made. And once you get that demo, then you can get agents. But all that info and more is covered in the Intro to VoiceOver Workshop. The only thing is that you need training before you do any of this. So sign up for the Intro to VoiceOver Workshop, link somewhere, <laughs> and then enter the coupon code PVTWEB after you add the 10 tips and Twisted Wave products to your cart and then get those free gifts. Like we said before, there's no one road on this journey, and that's really encouraging to know. No one's road to full-time voiceover talent is the same, and you can learn to make a living in voiceover. But anyone who succeeds invests first in themselves. One more big question that we get in most of our classes. Can I do this? Can I do voiceover? Well, to quote Henry Ford, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. VO takes work. Work to learn the craft. Work to learn the business. Work to learn what you need on your website. Work to learn about agents and demos and all facets, but it can be learned. Mm -hmm. Someone told me something that stuck with me as I entered college, and this is more than 30 <clears throat> years ago. You don't have to know everything today. You'll learn as you go. And that's just like learning a craft and the business around it. Learning is incremental. Taking the Intro to VO workshop will answer a ton of your questions, but you'll find out that you'll have other questions that pop up over time. Your voice is needed and can be utilized in many genres of voiceover. How do we know? Well, we've been in this business for decades, and we've heard all types of voices and how they fit in. Why should yours or ours be any different? Choose whether you want to do this and then go full force. Finally, if you have any specific questions, you can always contact us through ProVoiceOverTraining.com. I or our assistant will get back to you as soon as possible. As you now know, we're full-time voiceover and on-camera talent freelancers, so no two days are the same. So thank you so much in advance for your patience. And that's what also separates this program from others. Personal access to practicing professionals who can help you overcome your stumbling blocks and guide you, whether it's us, your private coach, or elsewhere. Hopefully we've answered a bunch of your questions, but the majority of answers to your questions will probably be answered answered in the Intro to VO workshop. If you're watching this on ProVoiceOverTraining.com, you should be able to see where you can click to enroll. Or if you're on our YouTube channel, the link to sign up is in the description. So go ahead, get started on your voiceover journey. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'd love to connect with you. Follow Mike or I on Instagram as well as ProVoiceOverTraining.com and the Atlanta VoiceOver Studio. Sign up for our weekly newsletter on the site too. We always give valuable tips and tricks to help you in your voiceover career. And we want to wish you all the best in your VO endeavors. Be confident, invest in yourself, and never stop learning and growing in the craft. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at ProVoiceOverTraining.com.